Good evening, friends. My name is Arlen, and I'm going to be reading you guys a story from the Jesus Storybook Bible again this evening. And tonight's story is called The Girl No One Wanted. So this is the story of Jacob, Rachel, and Leah from Genesis 29 and 30. There were once two sisters. The youngest was very beautiful, and her name was Rachel. But the oldest sister wasn't beautiful at all. Some thought her quite ugly. And her name was Leah. Rachel was the kind of girl who always gets invited to parties and chosen for the team. Everyone loved her. And poor Leah, no one hardly even noticed her. One day, their cousin Jacob came to stay. He was one of Isaac's sons, and he was on the run. Jacob had stolen and cheated and made some enemies, including his own brother, and now he was hiding. The funny thing is, Jacob, of all people, was the one God gave the special promise to, the same promise he had given his grandfather, Abraham. I will rescue the world through your family. But then God chooses people we least expect, as we'll see. Jacob stayed a long time working for his uncle Laban. One day Laban said, Jacob, I've decided to pay you for your work. What do you want? A sudden thought struck him. How about one of your daughters? Jacob looked at Rachel and he looked at Leah. Who would he choose? Of course, he chose Rachel. I'll work seven years for free, Jacob said, if I can marry Rachel. So Jacob worked seven years and at last his wedding day arrived. But that night, Laban played a nasty trick on Jacob. Instead of sending Rachel to marry, he sent Leah. Now in those days, they didn't have electricity, so it was dark in their tent, and besides, the women wore veils, and you couldn't see their faces properly, so Jacob suspected nothing. The next morning, Jacob woke up and screamed. His new wife was laying beside him, but it wasn't Rachel. It was Leah. Jacob jumped out of bed. Laban, he cried. You scoundrel. But Laban said, work for me another seven years, and then you can marry Rachel. So Jacob worked for Laban another seven years, and at last, Rachel became his wife. Now Jacob had two wives, but of his two wives, Jacob loved Rachel the best. No one loves me, Leah said. I'm too ugly. But God didn't think she was ugly, and when he saw that Leah was not loved and no one wanted her, God chose her to love her specially, to give her a very important job. One day, God was going to rescue the whole world through Leah's family. Now, when Leah knew that God loved her in her heart, suddenly it didn't matter anymore whether her husband loved her the best or if she was the prettiest. Someone had chosen her. Someone did love her with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. So when Leah had a baby boy, she called him Judah, which means this time I will praise the Lord. And that is just what she did. And you'll never guess what job God gave Leah. You see, when God looked at Leah, he saw a princess. And sure enough, that's what she became. One of Leah's children's children's children would be a prince, the prince of heaven, God's son. This prince would love God's people. They wouldn't need to be beautiful for him to love them. He would love them with all of his heart, and they would be beautiful because he loved them, just like Leah. So guys, I just want to take a moment to just pray for you tonight and remind you that in God's eyes, like we talked about the other day, we're all special to him. We don't have to do anything to earn his love or his favor. He loves us because we're his children. And so I just want to pray for you guys tonight. God, I just pray for each of these children that you would, um, God, that your presence would just be with them this evening and that they would just remember how special and loved they are by you. And that's how they would see themselves, God. I pray that they would find their identity in you. And I just thank you and praise you so much um, for everything that you're doing in their lives during this time. Um, God, I know that when we uh, get through this time that we're going to be closer to you, God. And I pray that um, you just create opportunities for us to be closer with our families as well. In Jesus' name, amen.